up the uh, place from the present to the days to be from two to three days? Um, actually, I think the main thing is uh, the um, the scheduling of the artists as well. Um, you know, it'll be it'll be good to have everybody you know obviously on, on the same billing. But uh, also, I think it's also nice to kind of spread everything out a little bit. Um, we really wanted Dead Mouse to, to be on the, the, the Saturday itself, but uh, due to his schedule as well, he was gonna give, he was only we could only make it on Thursday. So, uh, but but you know what? It ended, it ended up working out very well. So uh, you know he gets to build his own show, and you know how extensive his show is uh, for the Thursday. And while we still build everything else around for Friday and Saturday, so his show is going to be like indoor in the convention center uh, on Thursday, and it's his headline show. So, yeah. so essentially, I think uh, by expanding to three days, it's really uh, uh, a cooler experience. I mean, if you look at uh, uh, festivals like Tomorrowland, it's always people people go there for a couple of days and they just sort of get lost in the fun, uh, and that's that was something that we, we really wanted to. Uh, bring it across as well. Like, for people just come down to Malaysia for like four days and just really, really have fun. I think obviously three days, three days of uh, fun is better than two. <laughs> so yeah. Yeah. So the the is. Yeah. So this is the first time we're doing that. Basically, in Mines, there's this huge convention center, uh, which will be one stage, which is one you know main stage, and then all, uh, just across it is this like really nice big like field, which will you know be the other stages and stuff. And you know we have other stages around, smaller stages around the whole area as well. So it's partly indoor and, and outdoor as well. Uh, looking at four right now. Yes. Yeah. And you already announced a lot of artists right here. So we have Alejandro and our programming artists. But uh, this year we have a band like the party from here. Yeah. Did you really announce the new lineup? <laughs> uh, well, I, you know, that's that has also been a little bit of a tough one to get this year I think even Australia Australia uh, had the same thing uh, you know I think the, for them also the band wise Phoenix I think uh, that they couldn't make the March dates they had to do earlier so it didn't make sense for us but no I don't think we're going to be announcing uh, any more bands we might but uh, it really depends on a lot of schedules and stuff because right now with all these acts the, the, the set times are really full so so there is really no space for us to um, put more bands we, we really want to but uh, there's just there's just no space so so you know we there will be another announcement but um, yeah, we'll probably, probably yeah we'll probably, like one or two more yeah we'll probably announce one or two more maybe some regional artists but the other announcement is specifically to announce like the location the details about how to get there uh, you know what's going to happen you know the food village it's more about the actual festival and what's going to happen rather than more artists to be announced and we will announce the set times as well on the other announcement yeah, yeah. that's at the other announcement because that's completely other hitting yeah <laughs> other hitting all together yeah. trying to fit all of them into one day <laughs> This, yeah. this is almost a final list, yeah. We'll yeah. probably have one or two more international names on there, uh, plus a couple of regional acts, uh, but this is more, more or less. Uh, uh, almost complete. Uh, yeah. Mr. Paul, you said that we will announce what will happen here. Yeah. So, <coughs> yeah, I mean, you know, like, uh, have you been? You were there, right? Yeah. Uh, this is so, you know, we have the Ferris wheel and all of that, so we're trying to add more things. Um, uh, more like experiences at the, at the show, uh, more fun things to do. Um, uh, also, our food village, I think, a little bit better this year. More, more variety of food, um, more interactive areas. Yeah, more, more stuff that you know. Let's say you don't like this artist, so you can have more places to chill, uh, you know, hang out. And then, yeah, we want the experience of it to be a little bit better uh, as well. So the only we can do 
I think it's also just the uh, the most important thing for us for next year is is that we're not allowing people to drive into the whole area. So mm. we have we have different zones where people meet, and then those meeting zones as well will have some activation and some party yeah, and yeah. some kind of like you know. And then from there you take a bus into the festival. So the way of the approach of the new venue is uh, it actually changes the whole experience of going to future already so 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 that's a big thing for us uh, now yeah we don't want people to drive you know mm -hmm. just take the bus yeah 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 you know we don't you know uh, uh, last I think this year too many people missed their flights <laughs> <laughs> going to the airport yeah, yeah. so uh, we uh, you know we, look you know you, we want people to go to the festival and like maybe in half an hour and one hour already be inside you yeah. know we don't want you to take one hour to drive there one hour to line up one hour to you know and then you miss like three hours and then you're already like angry ah, you know, I waited so long and, uh, you know so we we heard a lot of that so we want to take that away we're trying our best to make that like not happen you know uh, we cannot guarantee it but you know we try hopefully uh, yeah. Yeah. But, but part of the reason why we moved it to mines is also because um, mines is much closer to the city yeah so it's like within i think a 20 minutes 30 minutes drive which is much closer than where that we, we had it uh, before in Sopan. Uh, and uh, through our past two years we've gotten a lot of feedback from fans a lot of fans have been asking us okay please move it closer to the city it's too far so we've sort of listened to, to what they had to say and we've uh, left them with what they wanted so that was that's part of the reason why it's going to be mine as well yeah We start, we start planning it the moment the show is done. Like after after this year's future, myself and you know the, the, the partners, my other two partners, we will go to Australia. We sit down with uh, the, the whole team. Uh, we just say, you know, okay, we run through everything. And automatically we already start talking to a lot of a lot of the other guys who go to like ultra music, you know, after our show it's you know ultra in Miami and you know whether it's EDC or whatever start going to all the other festivals and start looking at what acts are coming up and stuff and just start booking them already automatically and then um, a month later we all meet up again and we say okay this is how the lineup is looking like and then it'll change and then it'll, you know it, it's just that you go back and forth until you kind of agree on everything just just yeah. to give you an idea of how far ahead we were we've already got our yeah, lineup for 2015 uh, sort of confirmed, but we obviously can't tell yeah. 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 So that's how far ahead we yeah. work. Yeah. Yeah. This issue is good, but I'm working hard, very hard <laughs> for us to have fun. <laughs> 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 and saying that you will uh, present him uh, trans music and chronic dance and hip hop and uh, uh, many more types of music. For future next year? Yeah. For future next year? Yes. Yeah. yeah, so uh, we've got dance, we've got. Uh, yeah, we've got pop, which is, you know, your main, like, Echo Mall, Rand Lewis is doing big, like, pop act. We've got Tiny Temper. Tiny Temper, Rudy Mental is, like, big on radio. Uh, even for us, so we're going to be doing that. Uh, yeah, we've got Rudy Mental, is like, big on radio, even for us over there. And I think around the region as well. Um, who else do we have? Tiny uh, Temper, you know, so many. Mm -hmm. And uh, how is the uh, press in this year, given that you already feel? Uh, you, you guys are I think, in social media, right? Yeah, oh, the, the feedback has been amazing. Uh, I think the day we announced our lineup, uh, I think the, the whole of Facebook was just uh, about future music festival. I think we got like, almost a thousand shares. And, yeah. and, uh, like, it was, the, the feedback has been amazing. 
Uh, I, still, I mean, yeah, even like yeah. Eric Prince, I mean, you know, the guy, you know, it's his, his, his first time like coming out to Asia and doing oh, anything, okay. you know, so it's like really, really special. Like in Australia, I know that's a big thing mm. uh, for them, and I think it's also a big thing for us, especially if you're a dance fan, you know. You know, I'm an Eric Prince fan. And, <laughs> I would have never thought we'd see him out here. So you know, and we have. So that's that's a big thing for us. And he's, he's his team is customizing a show for future music and stuff. You know, so it's going to be really interesting. And how is the uh, the performance like? Is it uh, we've sold out our first release. Oh, uh, so that's about six thousand. I have to note that. Yeah. yeah. That was. That's about 6,000 events. Yeah, so we've sold out uh, our first release. We're now on our second release, uh, which we are expecting to sell out uh, within the next month or so. Yeah, so, uh, yeah, so for everyone in New Zealand, it gets picked. Uh, yeah. Then uh, it moves on to the third release and then finally the fourth release. Yeah. So uh, we're now currently at our second release. Uh, I think uh, that's doing very well. Uh, so we'll probably move on to the third release soon. Uh, it's also good because any Indonesians like traveling, it's easy yeah. now that yep. you can book the book your hotel in the city. Yep. And from the city itself, from KL to mine, it's like yep. 50 minutes. Yeah. Yeah. So it's it's you know it's it's very good. I mean rather than if they were staying in the city it'd take you one hour to go back to the yeah. park, right? Yeah. So I think that's good, you know. And we've also oh, sorry, come on Wednesday in the lead like yeah. on Tuesday. <laughs> and we've also just launched our um, VIP tickets. Yeah, so uh, yeah, so that's now available for sale I guess. I think we looked earlier about just two weeks ago we launched it. Yeah. Well you know VIP um, we have the first class area. Oh, which is always uh, which is always our speciality for future music, uh, even in Australia. And the uh, first class area gives you like you know private bar, uh, air conditioning. Um, you have like viewing decks for you to view all the stages. You have live stream inside. Obviously, you have the private toilets. Um, bottle service. You have bottle service. You have a separate entry into the festival, so you don't have to line up. So it's all that kind of. It's just like a. It's, it's just more like a privilege thing. And. Uh, uh, and it includes uh, the, the pass for all three days as well. Yeah. yeah. So you buy one ticket, it's all three days, and you get to go into all these different areas and stuff like that. But it's always limited, you know. It, it's about thousand five hundred tickets on sale, right? You know, it could. I don't know if it, even if we have any more left, but it's it's, it's always limited. Yeah. Okay. Uh, last one. Uh, can you uh, say a message for future music classic by Chef Man in Indonesia? Okay. So, uh, what did I say? Okay. <laughs> All right. Hi, Indonesia. I'm Rahul, and this is uh, Jason. Hello. <laughs> We're from Livescape. We're organizing uh, Future Music Festival Asia in Kuala Lumpur. I hope all our friends and fans from here will come down and join us for the three-day, um, you know, fun uh, and music extravaganza. We'll see you there, March 13, 14, 15, at Mines Wonderland in KL. And 2014. Get your tickets. Yeah, get oh yeah. your tickets. You need tickets, because otherwise we can't let you in. But yeah, take care, guys. We'll see you there.